Welcome to Winging It, where we uh, do realistically mediocre cooking. Today we're gonna make some sort of spinach mushroom farfelli pasta. I don't remember what the, it was called. The first couple of steps is kind of boring. I'm just supposed to slice and caramelize these three onions. So we're gonna kind of just fast forward through that and I'll see you when that's done. So I am really bad at cutting onions and I'm probably gonna start crying here in a few minutes. See, if this didn't have to be sliced, to just put it in like a little chopper thing, but. Yeah, I mean, Yeah, we're just gonna try this mandolin. I don't know if I even know how to do it correctly. How do I, do I just stab it in there? <laughs> Ooh, I'm not a professional YouTuber. Onion down, onion down. Is it mandolin or mandalorian? <laughs> oh my God, my eyes, they burn. All right guys, don't cut onions at home, it's dangerous. <laughs> All right, oh, we need to go to high heat. And when you put a tablespoon, this is a teaspoon. I need a tablespoon. It's not gonna be enough oil. Is that olive oil? Yeah, olive oil. All right, here we go. Not enough oil for how many onions we're doing. Okay, I feel like these measurements are off, but maybe it's just my non-experienced self. How do you know when the oil's hot though? Like I just usually just go for it, wing it. I guess that's what this is about. Yeah, I don't think that's hot enough yet. So we're supposed to keep this constantly moving, but how do I put all the onions in there? I'll keep it constantly moving. Excuse me, I have two hands, not five. I feel like three whole onions is a lot. So that's just me, like, I think this is maybe one. I'm not making onion rings. I'm supposed to be making pasta. I don't think I'm gonna add all of this because I don't like that many onions in my food anyways. So, I'm just gonna make it my own recipe. My onions are flying everywhere. Like, look at that. Ooh, nice and steamy hot. Also, everything has been contaminated with onions because I've touched everything with my onion hands. I'm gonna cry this whole episode. Wait, right, how brown does it say these need to be? Start to brown. I think they're starting to brown. All right, so I need to add salt and reduce the heat. Butter down. <laughs> I also don't really ever make caramelized onions, so I don't know what they're supposed to look like. I only ever see them in food. Oh no, we got a burnt onion. Gotta take it out. Get out of here. It says constantly stirring, but my arm's tired. Cooking's not supposed to be a workout. It's be the opposite, like you get to eat it. I'm here for food, not exercise. <sighs> I feel like if I undercook these, it's gonna taste weird, but I feel like they're done. But that hasn't been 30 minutes. What do you recommend? You're the chef. <laughs> I'm winging it, y'all. It says they're supposed to cook for 30 minutes total. Oh, you're filming me. It says they're supposed to cook for 30 minutes total before you remove them from heat. But I feel like I'm cooked by now. Like, come on. These things aren't that big. I don't know, man. I guess we'll just let it sit for a minute and then call it good. I'm gonna count to 100 in my head and then remove them. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> in your head? <laughs> this is my video, which means it's all about what's in my head, okay? <laughs> I lost count now. I'm gonna start at 10, <laughs> 11, 12, 13. Third, I'm, I'm too impatient. Nope, we're calling it good. That's the wrong way. All right. It says like a splash of vinegar, but nothing's sticking to the pan. Oh God, <laughs> spring loaded. I feel like that's not enough. All right. <laughs> yeah, that smells really balsamic-y. All right, we're gonna call that good. I'm gonna let that cool for a minute. Do you think I could just cook them? I feel like I could just cook the mushrooms in the same pan without washing it, because it's all going together in the end anyway, so like... Who cares if the flavors mix? They're gonna mix. Got two personalities. It's who I am. And then add spinach until it wilts. It doesn't even say on what... Like on high, on medium. Going with medium, because that's right in between high and low. Back at it with the same amount of olive oil, which I still don't think is enough for how much food we're cooking, but okay. This is really uneven. Maybe it's my table on the floor. 
unsure. The floors uneven? <laughs> I mean, this is an old building. You never know. There's plenty of houses with uneven floors. Do you ever watch HGTV? I feel like I put too much mushrooms in there and I also don't know how everything's gonna fit in my pan in the end. Am I just supposed to cook this the same way I did the onions? I don't know, it doesn't say. And this is why I'm doing it, so you can learn before you do it. Ooh, yes, raw mushrooms. I was gonna say onions, but ah, I'm still like, can't see. What are they supposed to look like when they're cooked? It doesn't say. So they're starting to turn like brownish, I guess, yellowish. So I guess that means they're cooking, but like, I don't know what means they're cooked. Like what color should they be at? Also didn't specify what kind of mushrooms to use. So these could be the wrong kinds of mushrooms. They stopped sizzling. So maybe that means they're done. Let's add the spinach, I guess, and see what happens. I'm just gonna add it like one handful at a time because this is kind of a huge mound and also my pan's not very big. Spinach seems like it's finally starting to wilt in the bottom, but I gotta get like the top part to wilt and I still have like half a bowl of spinach to put in here. But it does look pretty, nice and fresh. You can tell all of the like moisture is coming out of the spinach and getting into the pan. So it looks like next we're gonna make the sauce. We want the half and half in the cheese. We add a cup of Parmesan and a cup of half and half. And it just says let it cook until the cheese melts and the sauce simmers. You get one thing. Oh, I was supposed to cook the pasta. I'm just gonna add it on here. Put it on max. And I'm gonna add salt because that'll make it boil faster. This is on max, but I don't know. All right. So we're gonna add the onions in. Smells pretty good. You want to come smell it? Mm, smells like onions. It's getting pretty good. I don't want to tilt it too much, but you can definitely see like the onions and the mushrooms and the spinach. Looking pretty good. You can see all the parts to it. So now we're just waiting for this pasta to cook, which is taking like 10,000 years to even boil. Cool. You want to smell? What do you think? He's so calm. Hey guys, I'm winging it with all those chickens. <laughs> Hello fellow chickens. Welcome to winging it. Also, it told me to do salt, but it never told me to add it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can just scroll down a little bit? I don't know. Can add at the end? There's more directions down here. How many more directions? How to cook mushrooms and spinach. <laughs> well, we're winging it. Where's the salt? Well, I wasn't gonna eat it. I just like put my fingers all over it. I think it's probably good, so. So the pasta has finished. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit just to bring it back up to heat. And we're gonna add the pasta in here. I don't think this is a big enough pan. Good job, me. And then I'm gonna try and mix it in here without spilling it. Once this is just kind of fully incorporated, we just need to plate it. And then we can taste it and see how it turned out. It's pretty good. Come try it. Mm. 
I think. Pretty good. It's got more of a cheese flavor than I expected because we didn't put that much cheese in it. But like, there's not a lot of. I don't know. We had a lot of onion. I felt like. Mhm. Mm I think. Also, the onion just looks like more noodles. Mhm. I think as long as you have a little bit of everything in each bite, it's pretty good. Like, you don't really want to eat just the plain pasta. It's kind of bland. But as long as there's like mushrooms or spinach or something in each bite, it's pretty good. I'd say try it. Try and make it better than I did. And maybe have somebody else slice your onions for you. So yeah. I don't know if I need an outro. Oh.